Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to continue our discussion of uh, simple linear regression models that I discussed in the previous uh, video, where we draw this line which shows the relationship between uh, two variables x and uh, variable y. And here we are interested in predicting variable y in terms of uh, variable x. Once we draw this line, we'll have these beta parameters. And in the next lecture, I'll talk about how to draw this line because you can draw this line like anywhere. But we'll see that there is a particular way of drawing this line that I will talk about in the next video. But for now, after we'll have uh, uh, this line, we'll have uh, the values of these beta 0 and uh, beta 1. Okay, so after we have that, we can get the fitted values of, uh, of this y variable by plugging in uh, those x variables. For example, we may have beta 0 is 1.01 .01 and uh, beta 1 is 2 then we can keep on plugging the value of x variable say this is uh, the value of x is x1 and we can get a fitted value similarly we can get another value y2 this hat means it is a fitted value as opposed to this original value I'm gonna keep plugging these x values to get these fitted values for example if you look here, the very first value, we're going to plug uh, our first x value. We plug our x1 value, say it was uh, four years of uh, education. And our fitted value in this case is right on the line. Remember, we are fitting uh, on this line. So this is our fitted value. This is our y hat 1. But see, what was the original value? The original value was right here. This was the original value. But we predicted that y1 going to be this. So we under predicted the value. So there is kind of an error in our prediction. So let's call this error u hat 1. This is the u that we are measuring. Okay, let's talk about the second value. So second value, we predicted that y2 is going to be here. And but what was the original value? y2 was here. And our prediction of y2 is right here. What is this difference? This difference is u hat 2. So we can keep doing this and get as many errors as uh, uh, the number of observations. So we can get all these y hats. We know it's going to be the difference between the original values minus our fitted equation. And we know our fitted equation was uh, y minus beta 0 plus beta 1 hats. Now we have to check the properties of uh, this u hat we need to test for the residual properties that we talked about in our previous uh, chapter we can look at the acf we can test for the loom box test which in this case will be roish uh, godfrey test we'll talk about uh, those uh, properties in the future but essentially we're going to test the properties of uh, this regression residual uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to find uh, the best line because obviously you, you can draw different lines. We're going to talk about the principle of least squares and uh, based on the principle of least squares, we'll talk about uh, the method of ordinary least squares to estimate uh, these beta parameters.